What's up, YouTube? Another throwback game. NCAA 09. Football. We have the Florida State Seminole versus the Texas A&M Aggies. Of course, I'm representing Florida State University. My favorite team, the Seminoles. Go no. We're just taking it back, guys. Enjoying some old school college football, man. I have a PlayStation 4, however, and I do have Madden 19, by the way. But right now, I just want to play some good old college football. Old school style. We got it on high This game right here is a classic game to me. I do love NCAA 14, by the way. I have that as well. But NCAA 09 is, was one of my favorite games. Um, probably game, as far as all the NCAA that came out on PlayStation 3, I think this one is my second favorite. Um, NCAA 13 is the third place to be. But NCAA 14 is obviously the goal. But I, I love the feel of this game. It holds up really well. Kyle Field in College Station, Texas is the home of the 12th man and the site for today's game. And it's a little cloudy out here tonight for this game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Seminoles of Florida State. Hi everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. Texas A&M has a ton of weapons offensively, but none more potent than their running back. This guy is such a sensational athlete on the field, and Braddy's a true winner off the field as well. If you think he's impressive out there scoring touchdowns, you should see him in the classroom. What a role model. And now it's time for the Coke Zero coin toss. A winning combination with Coke taste and zero calories. And actually, Von Miller is on like a sophomore. Brentley is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. From the seven. Welcome. He just took a lift. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll go to work at the 21. First down, 10 yards to go. Two tight ends here. Iroski goes in motion to the left. They go with a the run. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Smith picks up five with the carry. On the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 26. Single set backfield. Smith gets the ball. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Gain of four on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 30 yard line. Under. Is under center. High formation behind it. Brought down at the 31 yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. Watch I like that play call. Go ahead, get the first down here. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down mark. We've got a first and 10. Go with the shotgun here. Pulls it in, he wants more, and down he goes, around the 36-yard line. A five-yard gain. Not a bad play. The gain five yards out of it, keep moving the defense back. Stay gone! Stay gone! There are two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. He may have changed things up here. Let me say this, that is not how you draw up a pass play. And the coach is really bad. I'll bet you a lollipop that that doesn't happen 
again, coach. You got yourself a deal. Looking for his man, incomplete. Carr was the intended target on the field. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receiver. He really got a hold of that one. Calls for the fair catch. Yard punt. Fair catch made at the 18-yard line. The offense will take over at the 18. First down, 10 to go. Good signal. Gets it off. Across midfield. There we go. The 10. And he will score. Great play call there. They designed that play specifically for the halfback. And boy, did it pay off. They had everything working on that play, guys. The line created a good push. The back picked the right hole. And the defense wasn't there to make the tackle. Next thing you know, you got a touchdown. And he put a great juke move on the defender on his way to getting into the end zone. What a play. Texas A&M is up by six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And here for Pontiac drive somewhere. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He'll return it from the one. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They'll start at the 24. Under steps to the line of scrimmage. One in the backfield. They give to the tailback. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Jones gains around eight yards on the run. Two tight ends here. Throws back the other way, incomplete. Dangerous, dangerous throw. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. Third down and two. The quarterback is in the gun. He's got two tight ends in this set. Is it hit for no game? There was really just wow. nowhere for the wild receiver to go after he made the catch. Great coverage on the play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. He's taken down at the 40 yard line. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time. Got the 40 yard line. Keep this drive going. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Under. Lines up in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Parker takes the give. They'll drop him for a loss. Makes the tackle. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Under is in the gun. Three wide formation. A little toss across the middle. And he's tackled at the 43 yard line. They get four yards on that pass play. They only gained about four yards on that play, but they're still moving the ball forward. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. The defense sets up in the nickel. Short throw over the middle, and it's picked off. Brought down. Out to 43. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. McGee lines up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Right, 
throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost, almost had a pick. <laughs> I love it when they look at their hands after a drop, as if their hands should have done something different. That's kind of the same look you give your golf club sometimes, right, Coach? Let's go. It's complete. At the 43 yard line. They're moving in the right direction, and that's all that matters. Well, that <laughs> and the final score. They're going to have to do a little bit better than that if they want to pick up a first down coming up here. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. And he's tackled at the 28 yard line. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses Thanks. me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. Nickel defense. Good signal. Hits it on the inside. He's tackled. Around the 24 yard line. Good signal. Picks up about four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 24. They must be expecting something up the middle here. Moffitt breaks it up. Pass. The fourth. The intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. The linebackers shift over a little. And they use motion. He's looking to pass. So on third down, he finds his receiver and gets a big game. Yeah, we saw these guys on Wednesday in practice, and they ran this play over, over, for about 20 minutes. Well, if you can get it right in practice, then you usually can get it right in the game as well. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. It's second down. They'll line it up at the 12. They line up in a double tight set. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That's the linebacker there getting in there to shut that play down. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. They come out with three wide receivers. Ready. Huh. It to the senior. Tackle right. up the six. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough eight. for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. It really was a good hold. Excellent job by the secondary to keep them in front of the first down marker. And that stop really gives these guys a swing of momentum, fellas. You bet, Brad. That defensive play really ignited a fire on the sideline. Yeah, this is a great chance for the offense now to build off that momentum and put some crucial points on the board. They'll start this drive at the six-yard line. There are three quarters remaining, and our score here. The Aggies, seven. The Seminoles, nothing. Second down and seven. The quarterback is in the gun. He's got two tight ends in this set. He's got it with room to run. Brought down in the open field. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something on this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Under is in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. He's changing things up. That was a nice catch. He went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit. But he came down with it and got a first down. Hey, at this level of college football, those are the plays you have to make. And he did well coming down with that one. Under. Option 
comes out. And they'll bring him down behind the line. They sure shut down the halfback on that block. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. Regular, regular, regular. Going with the shotgun here. They'll bring him down around the 44 yard line. Oh man, they had him good there. The defense was looking run and they threw it for a big game. The running back really sold the run well that time. That allowed for the quarterback to get the ball downfield for a decent game. Hunter lines up in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Hunter, the ball carrier. And they make the stop at the 45-yard area. That run picks up a yard, maybe less. Second and nine. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. It's batted down. Incomplete. Well, that was a good defensive Watch. effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. Nice play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Goes to the receiver, and he's got it again. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it's going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. They hand it off. They weren't going to let him score three on that play. This kid is something special. you got to have a certain kind of mentality to play the linebacker position. Man, is that ever true, Coach? If you want to be the best linebacker, you have to be able to do it all. Cover the receivers, bring down the running backs, take on blocks, rush the quarterback, and sometimes call the plays for the defense. And he's immediately tackled. Good pick up that time. Yeah, and one of the things that can really open up this wow. offense is their ability the to complete tackle. these After types the of medium-range passes. You're right. That and the ability to run the ball consistently. Under. Lines up in the shotgun. Three wide formation. Caught, and he's hit immediately. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, a nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. McGee is under center. Two tight ends. Tough throw on the run and caught. Knocked down by him at the 29-yard line. A seven-yard gain seven that time game. from the play-action pass the completion. All it takes is a second on these play-action fakes to get the defense out of position. And that's how this tight end was able to get open and pick up some yards. Man in motion. It's broken up. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. Make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. Defensive line is in tight. Two tight ends here. And he's tackled him with the ball. The defensive coordinator has been saving that one. And you know what? It didn't work out like he had hoped. Blitz both outside linebackers, and the quarterback wasn't phased at all. Quarterback, good job of keeping your eyes downfield and moving the chain. He's tackled. Good shot. 48. 
Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded right. out of his cut and beat the man Apple coverage for a new set of downs. They line up in an eye. Got a man. Watch out here. He just couldn't drift the defender, and he brought down. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. McGee is under center. High formation. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. The quarterback is in the gun. He's got two tight ends in this set. With the option hit in the backfield for a loss. This is a fabulous job of the awesome. linebacker shedding a block and getting into the backfield. Yep, the offensive line left the ball carrier out to dry there. Without better protection, he won't be able to go anywhere. Defensive line is in tight. They go with the option. Brought down at the 39. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. And here's another third down. McGee comes to the line under center. High formation behind him. The D-line moves to the inside. Can't find anyone open. Halfback screen. Incomplete. Goodson, the intended receiver on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. He barely snuck that over the crossbar by chalking up another three points. That kick didn't look like it had enough mustard to make it over that crossbar, Kirk. Yep, he literally didn't have more than a foot to spare. But this offense will take points any way they can get them. Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. And it's off. He's to the 10. Whoa! He just took a look. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Since these guys are on the losing end right now, there's a lot of pressure on this offense to put points on the board. There are two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. An amazing grab as he caught it and held on when he hit the ground. And I've seen a lot of players lay out like that and miss the ball. If you're going to do a belly flop, it's always good to come up with the old pigskin. And more importantly, this offense picks up a good nine yards on the play. And they get the sack. And the linebacker gets in there for the sack. Great time to bring some heat from the linebacker spot. It was a good call defensively. But this offense really needs to do a better job next time of picking up the blitz. I mean, they just got dominated by a freshman. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. The defense is in the nickel. On the play fake, he goes deep. He's tackled. That's a 50 yard line. This game certainly didn't start the way this quarterback wanted it to. He's certainly struggling early on. It's just something he's going to have to break out of if he wants his team to be successful today. He's not making good reads. He's missing some receivers. He just doesn't look prepared. This kid needs to pull it together. That's a great tackle. 
The offense calls a timeout. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. McGee drops back to pass. The defender has hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is Texas A&M 10, FSU 7. Florida State will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks off. They'll bring him down at the 36. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes down out of the field for their next possession. First down, 10 to go. There's movement by the linebackers. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Tried to sidestep by there, but a good tackle on the play. Four-yard gain by the back. The second down and six to go. Ball on the 30. McGee steps to the line of scrimmage. Single back backfield. McCoy goes in motion. And still completed it. Stop for a six-yard loss on the play. Loss of six on the play. Well, this was not the best of plays that we've seen from them today. Yep, they would have been better off throwing an incompletion. McGee is under center. He has two backs behind him. Passes to his tailback again. Very good tackle in space. Now the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. And on fourth down, this offense has to punt the ball away. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Came away with a nice return there, Lee Corso. Oh, Nelly. That was almost a big one, my friend. They'll start this drive at the 30. Under comes to the line, under center. One in the backfield. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. And a halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second and eight. Ball on the 33. Under. Lines up under center. Single set backfield. Carr is the man in motion. Gets it and immediately handled. Smith comes away with two yards on the carry. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. to his receiver. Way to execute. They faced the blitz by both inside linebackers on that play and was still able to move the chains through the air. Nice play. They'll work from the shotgun. They work the right side and there is nothing going there. Maybe a few, but that's it. Gain of two on the play. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 45. They line up in the shotgun. This one will fall incomplete. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. From the gun. incomplete knocked away now that's the way to get in there and break up the pass and more importantly coach brings up a fourth down situation booming kick 
They'll down this one at the one. You know what drives me crazy? What's that, too? When players don't look for the ball on special teams, too often the Gunners don't locate the ball and let it go into the end zone. But this guy did a great job of getting downfield and downing the ball, giving his defense good field position. They must be expecting something up the middle here. This close to their own end zone. They look like they want to punch it out a little bit and get some better field position. Tackle made around the 13-yard line. And he goes over the century mark for that one, guy. You know, Grant, he's had a great day, but credit the offensive line for fine blocking all game long. Defensive line is in tight. McGee steps to the line of scrimmage. Three wide receivers. Play. Take it out of the backfield. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line is going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 11. McGee comes to the line under center. Single set backfield. Right in the middle, he meets the defense. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. It's third and 11. Ball on the 12. They come out in a nickel. High is complete over the middle. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. What a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punt. So this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They'll set up shot at the 46. It's first and 10. The defense is lined up with an abundance of DBs. I count seven on the field. Complete brought down. Could have made that play. They're barely making any yards. They need to air it out a little bit more, or they're not going to be able to move the ball consistently. They thought they could sneak something by the defense here on first down, but it's not so. Rolls to the right to his fullback. Got it over. He's knocked out of bounds. At the 48. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They'll work from the shotgun. Under. Drops to throw. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. And that makes it fourth down. What great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. This is a pretty stressful way to put a drive together, but it's working so far. Yeah, but hopefully they don't plan on making a living out of going for it on fourth down. They need better execution on first and second down. From the gun. Out of bounds. Around the four-yard line. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You got to mix them up a little. They come out in a nickel. Under. Adjust the play at the line. Throws to the tailback. Incomplete. Smith, the intended receiver, on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. 
three wideouts here. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. Another misfired pass, and another turnover by the quarterback. Nobody could blame there but himself. It wasn't a real smart throw. Yeah, Coach, he threw that one right in the cup. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Defensive line looking to clog that middle. Hands it to the back. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Well, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Movement along the line. Ace backfield. Tailback brought down for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And the safety with the interception. And they make the stop. The 37 yards. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and ten. Under. Comes to the line. Under center. Single set backfield. to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. They line up in an eye. Under heavy pressure, and they got it. So it's the defensive end that comes up with a sack. Then they brought the blitz, and the defensive end was able to get free and fight his way into the quarterback. You've got to love the way this kid plays. Just a reckless sack machine on the end of that defensive line. Here to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 29. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Not too many points on the board as we end the third quarter. Our score, At the end of Texas A&M, 10, the score is Florida State, Texas 7. Texas A&M, 10, Florida State, 7. If there was ever a time that this offense could use a miracle, it would be right now. It's third down, and they've got a long ways to go to get the first. the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. Dangerous throw, and it's picked off. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. McGee steps to the line of scrimmage. One in the backfield. Brown is the man in motion. Goodson takes a handoff. Brought down around the 21 yard line. One yard on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 21. One man backfield. 
run the middle and nothing works. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 23. They'll work from the shotgun. McGee running the option. He's got an open. No can do on that run. That'll bring up fourth down. Well, you're absolutely right. Those guys got there, shut them down. Now they're all fired up. Brantley is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 41 yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Ponder is in the shotgun. Four wide formation. Got a man. Watch out here. He's brought down in the open field. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Under. Lines up in the shotgun. Four receivers wide. Throws complete. He's got room to work. There's a very impressive open field tackle. They brought the middle linebacker on a blitz, and the quarterback got the ball out of his hands in time for a first down. There are four wide receivers. Split out. The quarterback in the gun. Him as he was throwing that time. Uh, he's lucky yeah, that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacked. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Moves up in the pocket. And down he goes at the 37. A big game for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you play at the old Buckeyes, Steve. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. Great run. Nothing going around there. And the hashtag's got nowhere to go. Give credit for that tackle to the safety. He did a good job of stepping up into run support. There are two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. Up. This savage. And they get a nice defensive play. And here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. This junior cornerback has so much speed coming off the edge. If you don't see him early, woo, trouble to the quarterback. What a play by the defensive back. He knocked that ball out of the sky before the receiver had a chance to do anything about it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. He guns it left side, and it's knocked down. And they turn the ball over. Shouldn't they have punted in that situation? Even though they're down, you're right. I think they should have punted. They can really pay for it now, unless their defense comes out here and makes a big defensive stop. Fires it out. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. The defense sets up in the nickel. The offense caught a break there. That was not a very good pass by this quarterback. Yeah, coach, he threw it right into the hands of the defender. He's lucky that he couldn't hold on to it. That's why this kid is on defense and not offense. One man backfield. Takes it in his tackle short. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Less than three minutes in the game. Oh, 
He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. There are two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He gets hit out of bounds. the 26. Six-yard pickup. And that one will move them a little closer to the sticks. Nice six-yard gain. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's looking to pass. He rolls left. Swatted away. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. They line it up with three receivers. Staying alive. This game is still Eight well within their reach. And I'm not giving up on them yet. They have no time to waste, though, Kirk. They're going to have to take some shots downfield and can't give up any sacks at this point. Under is in the gun. Three wide receivers. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Game of one. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Try to change the play. Makes the catch and look out. And he is drilled at the 43 yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Back up tailback checks in now. Let's see if he gets some action. call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense. That's why it's a first down. First and ten. Under. Changes the play at the line. He lets it fly. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. That was the safety who got in there to knock it down. This kid isn't just a ball hawk, but he can hit you as well. Don't let his size fool you. Tackle around the 28 yard range. Impressive game there by the do it all back. Makes the stop. He may have changed things up here. to the tailback incomplete Smith the intended receiver on the play second and ten this is the tenth play of this drive there are two tight ends in the formation the quarterback is in the gun man in motion got a man watch out here and down he goes around the 14 yard line the wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Drops back to pass. He's under some heat. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. And he tried to run. Sometimes having a quarterback run with the ball can be effective if the defense isn't expecting it. But they were all over him on that play. The offense calls a timeout. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. On the throw, incomplete pass. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. They come out with four wide out. Caught, and he's out of bounds. That's a loss. 
You get a one yard loss on that one. He really just didn't have any room to work on that. The defense just suffocated him there. The kick is up. No good. What about the bus, Kurt? That is just a devastating miss for this team. They fought hard and played tough, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. They'll start this drive at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. D-line is making some adjustments. He takes a knee. The defense calls a timeout. One yard loss on the play. It's second down and 11 to go. They shift on the defensive line. He'll go down to one knee. With Perry, one yard loss on the play. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Texas A&M, 10, Florida State, 7. And Lee, now as we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance, your final thoughts on this one? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Texas A&M really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Well, that does it for this presentation of NCAA Football 09. For Kirk and Lee, I'm Brad Nessler. Thanks for joining us. We'll Thank see you, you next time. Thank you for attending today's ballgame. Please, Please drive home safely. Guys, I couldn't do nothing on the offensive end. Yeah, that was ridiculous.
Clemson can do so many things on defense thanks to this young man. He can be the eighth man in the box or he can play man coverage. And I expect everyone to know his name after this game is over. Now let's head down for the coin toss brought to you by Coke Zero. Jackson has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Hunter lines up under center. Two backs in the eye. It's intercepted at the 30. At the 28-yard line. The quarterback is really upset with himself. If he had that pass back, I'm sure he would have gone somewhere else. This was a very athletic play by the linebacker. He was waiting on the ball and then made a fantastic interception. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Harper is under center. Single back backfield. That was a sensational catch by the receiver on that play, guys. Yeah, he left his body out to dry, but he came away with the football. That's the way to pick up some yardage. And they pick up the first down as well. He's looking to pass. And he's sacked. He took too much time. You got to be more aware in the pocket. It's second and 13. Ball on the 19. Five DBs on the field. D-line is making some adjustments. Davis takes the toss left. They got great run support from the safety position no on that. On the he had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stuff him for a loss. Third and 13 coming up. And this crowd is going crazy. Davis, again. He tries to juke, but they bring him down. Makes the stop. Solid play by the defense, and that's going to bring that fourth down. That was a bad game there, but getting first downs are way more important than your rushing average. And it's right down the middle. It's good. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Jackson gets set to kick this one away. He boots it deep downfield. Room around the corner. And he's tackled at the 28. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This defense has stepped up to the challenge so far, but there is a long way to go, Kirk. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to keep this offense too quiet. Just as long as they can avoid these turnovers. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. Hunter is in the gun. Three receivers split out. This one should be interesting. Well, the offense is helped First out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. There are two tight ends in the formation. A quarterback is in the gun. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And he's taken down. 29. Well, Coach, he just looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Yep. Great play by the linebacker to read that pass and come away with the interception. Right there. Great play. First down, 10 to go. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. 
Davis off the right side. And down he goes. At about the 23 yard line. Davis gets six yards on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Complete, and he's down there. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. So he can carry more coverage on this kick, because whenever he gets some room on you, he makes a play. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. He picks up four yards on the carry. Gain of four on the play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. One man backfield. He'll keep it on the ground again. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. Davis gets three yards on the clear. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers put out in the formation. Parker. right. And they make the stop. At the eight. They don't pick up the first on that play. Brad, that defense is saying, not so fast, my friend. You're not going to run that ball that easy. And it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Clemson gets set to kick this one away. Here's the kick. Smith from the two. And he's tackled at the 19 yard line. You know the offense will be looking to be better this time out. Watch out for this defense. They've shown they can take advantage of the smallest of mistakes. Two tight ends here. And he's taken down at the 35 yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. Okay, this guy's not going to burn too many guys deep, but he's definitely a good possession guy who you can rely on. You're right, Kurt. The tension was good, but they're not going to hold them out there forever. Two tight ends set. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From the gun. Open and he just drops. Not much you can do there, Coach. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. Oh, excellent punt. Spiller fields it at the 24. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll start this drive at the 31. First down, 10 yards to go. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Spiller up the gut. He's tackled at the 32. Picked up a yard, yard of anything on that one. And that was the linebacker that got him. He wasn't letting the ball carrier go very far. One man backfield. It's complete. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Usually, it's not a good idea for the quarterback to throw the ball across his body like that. But hey, this time it worked. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Palmer is the man in motion. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. The defense punches them off the no field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Reed will be the return man. And this one is a beauty. He takes it at the 12. Packer at the 17. 
The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll go to work at the 17-yard line. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. Gain of less than a yard on the play. The blitz was pretty effective on that play, Coach. Yep, they plugged up the holes well, so the back was not able to go very far. From the gun. that that one wasn't taken in for the score. They had a guy coming on the blitz that time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. Carr goes in motion. Now well, they run it left, and a nice tackle away. Smith comes away with two yards on the field. Second and eight. Ball on their own 48. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. The At score the here the in Dope Campbell. Clemson, six. six. FSU, six. Nothing. nothing. Under. Lines up under center. One in the backfield. Hands off left and he's brought down quickly. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard Solid takedown by the junior there. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Single back set. Three wide receivers. Car was the intended receiver on that pass. The they're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Well, I'm not sure I really agree with this call to go for it, but that's why I'm not coaching, folks. Under. Steps back to pass. Nelson Dillon. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. Touchdown, Nelson. Oh, that's a quarterback's worst nightmare. Don't remind me, coach. But I really think that was a great defensive play. He made a nice jump on the ball and took it to the house. Hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Tries to get around the corner. Taken down at the 39 yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. They better put some points on the board here, Kirk. Otherwise, the floodgates might be opening soon. Well, they could start by just not turning the ball over here. Now they run it left and a nice tackle away. Jones gains about a yard on the play. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 40. From the gun. Try to change the play. Fires deep down the left side. Broken out. The defender prevented a big play there. Yeah, the quarterback warned his guy downfield, but the receiver wasn't able to make a play on the ball. But the defender did. He had great position all the way downfield. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Heavy pressure, and he throws it to the defense. And that's the second time he's come away with one on defense there, guys. Well, this guy's just a real ball hawk out there. The quarterback.